up guys, Logan here, and I'm on the cloud server today. Um, I found a pretty cool house um, that I really liked, like uh, the concept of, and so I'm going to be rebuilding it in my creative world. Um, so I guess I would, I thought I would just like show you guys around first, and I gotta hurry because there are zombies coming, so it starts off with like a pretty nice um, staircase here. It's Long, I guess, because it's on a hallway, uh, hallway uh, hill. <laughs> uh, and then they have another one on the side here, which is pretty nice. And a big room. I don't know what you would use this room for, but it's pretty nice. And then a balcony. I'm going to be building this on a super flat world, so um, stuff like the super long staircase probably won't be there. Um, of course, it's not really a nice view, but it's the easiest way for me to make it. Um, there's like an entrance to the basement right here. Um, I, and I can't build the basement here because, you know, it's a super flat world. But to be honest, you can make the basement whatever you want it to be. The basement is kind of just, um, you know, it's just an average basement. There's not really anything special about it like the rest of the house. So then over here, we have a ladder that leads up higher other parts of the house and then it comes to this platform which is an even better view and then it keeps going up and then another view and then they have like this little bridge thing which is pretty cool and it leads to the second floor so if you're wondering why would I go around that whole way to get um, to the second floor instead of just going up the stairs here and you'll notice that these stairs go right back to where we started so that's the thing about this house. Um, there are a lot of ways to get to certain places in this house. Like there's a lot of routes. Um, so if I wanted to get to the, I think it's like the third floor, you could go on this bridge and it wraps around the whole house. And then here you are, you're at the third floor. And then it's kind of cool. There's like a staircase on the inside of the house. And then they have like a greenhouse, which is, Awesome. And I recently took this wheat because I needed some bread. Um, our base that I showed you guys in the last video on the cloud got raided um, after we moved. Uh, Serenity 1500 or, you know, Piero or the random kid, I don't know how you know. Um, he basically accidentally teleported someone to our base and they raided our base and I still have all my good stuff in an e-chest but um, I can't access one right now so I'm kind of stuck but anyway um, here's another balcony on the second floor and then you'll notice there's another staircase that leads back around to here so it kind of just you go in circles and I just thought that's a really cool concept but there's uh, one more thing and you jump up here on these platforms and there's like a little room. Uh, maybe this could be like your bedroom or something, I don't know. Um, and then I thought this would be like a perfect spot to Elytra off of. Like, this should be like some sort of Elytra land landing slash launch thing. So that's probably what I'm gonna do with that. But that's basically the whole house. Um, if I were to comment on it, the problems with it are there's not any like frames on it really, like logs around it to like give it any depth. There's a little too much spruce, like they didn't try to vary in any of the blocks. It's really just spruce wood and glass. I did like how they used a lot of windows, but they should have used some other blocks um, incorporated with this maybe, like stone or something. Um, but it's really all just spruce. So it kind of takes away from it. And then they should have maybe added some special shapes in here because it's all just a bunch of like huge squares. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to redo this, but let me get rid of this guy. <sighs> oh yeah, and you'll notice, you can probably hear me killing the zombie right now. I finally got my computer to record the... Um, the sound of the game and my voice at the same time. Because I'm using a Mac, it's kind of hard. But Alright, that's about it. 
Uh, I'm gonna cut ahead to when I have the house redone, and um, you guys can tell me what you think. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, what is up, you guys? I'm back, and I finally finished the uh, rebuild of the house. It looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you guys. But first, I just wanted to um, to address something. Why? I'm trying not to show you, but I just wanted to show you guys that I do have my own like texture pack. Um, I didn't make it myself. I just kind of mixed mixed up like some of the textures from different texture packs, put in the ones that I like. And um, so this isn't actually vanilla textures, if you're wondering. That's why some things look a little different, but they're pretty close to vanilla. So I mean, it's not that bad. But anyway, um, this is the house rebuild, and I think it turned out really nice. Um, I even bought my own uh, monthly thing of realms because I wanted to show my friends what it looked like so bad. Um, but yeah, as you can see, um, I decided to use for the floor instead of spruce um, some red sandstone and normal sandstone. But yeah, that's why this looks different because of, um, because of the texture pack. I call it Logan's Lair. <laughs> um, it has a porch in the front here, which looks really nice, and then you come in here, and we have the same room, it's actually a little bit bigger. I decided to take away the windows on this side because it would have just looked a little odd. And in my texture pack, the trap doors kind of look like spruce, um, they're going to be making the trap, the spruce trap doors anyway, so that's why I kept it. Um, but yeah, this is the balcony that I showed you guys earlier, and then there's the side door that leads down here. And like I said, the, the front stairs aren't really going to go down that far because we're in a super flat world. Um, and then there's no basement either, but you get the point. You guys can put in whatever basement you really want to. Like I said, the basement wasn't really that special, special in that house. Um, but I actually made my own addition. Um, underneath the greenhouse, which is right here, I added in this little balcony thing. I'm not really sure what you would do with it, but I decided to incorporate it into like the little beams that are here. And I don't know, maybe you could like put furnaces here. I don't know. Um, but it's also like a balcony as well. So yeah, um, I guess I'll do it the same way I did it last time. So up these ladders lead to like a higher platform. And then up here is an even higher, well not a platform, this is more of a room. But this is like a nice room to view things, I don't know, this could also be a good bedroom. And then there's a bridge that leads across to here, and you can see that this also leads down to the second floor like in the other house. Um, and then it leads out to the balcony, and you can see like the thing we just went up there. I, actually, I'm gonna get a sword out real quick, so if I punch something, it's not gonna break. If you didn't know, if you hit stuff with a sword, it doesn't break in creative. Um, and then the, the staircase, these staircases I like in the other one, lead up to the greenhouse. And I took out the tree in it because that wasn't actually there to begin with. Uh, it looked like somebody broke it and, like, for some reason put a tree there. Um, but, yeah, it's just a wheat farm, like in the other one. And then that leads to the staircase room, which was a little hard for me to design, but it, I think it turned out, like, really nice. From the outside, it kind of makes it look kind of weird, like the way that the windows look. I think it adds some character to the house. Um, and then, if we go down here... This leads us back to that viewing room right there. And I, as you can see, I did add a few things. This is another thing I added here, which is underneath the staircase in that room. I added two more balconies that one goes out to the front, one goes out to the back, and it looks really nice. Um, if I go down here, see that this all leads back to the beginning, like in the other house. But anyway, um, 
So here's the bridge. The bridge is my favorite part. It just it looks really nice on the house. It adds a lot to it. Um, I like how it's more rounded. The other one was really square, and it just kind of like you know, I, it was just really square, and I didn't like it. So this one's like really curved, and there's like supports which make it look realistic. And this leads back up to the stair room. But if we go this way, like on the other house, it leads us up to this tiny room up here. Like I said, you can make this like a guest bedroom maybe or something. And then there's this extra space uh, from the stair room. I'm really not sure what you would do with this. This might make a nice landing area for your elytra. Um, just because like it's a nice, well it's not flat, but this would stop you from go going like off the roof. Like you would hit this or maybe one of these stairs or something. But then we have another bridge and this is kind of like a viewing platform, but at the same time, there's a little perch, and you can grab an elytra, and just fly off, and it's pretty cool because then you can like go through all these supports and stuff like that. Um, it's a pretty cool build to go through with an elytra, you can try to go through there, or through there, or maybe even there, but um, yeah, that's basically it for this build. Um, if you liked it, you can build it yourself in your world. I know I'm going to make this in survival. Um, it'll take forever, but I'm going to try. Um, but yeah, um, I'm sorry I didn't show you how I built it. Because uh, that was a very long process. I'm not sure if you guys wanted to actually see that. But that's basically it for this video. If you hear my computer in the background, um, that's another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm going to be getting a new computer soon. I'm trying to save up for a really good computer. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys what the computer is yet, just because I'm not sure like which one I'm going to get. I'm still not sure. But I'm going to build my own computer. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping to get that. And that's why I haven't been uploading, because I'm going to be getting a new computer soon. Um, and unfortunately, I probably won't be getting it at least until June, maybe even later, I'm not sure. So I'll try to upload every once in a while, but it just won't be a lot. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.